In this lesson, we discuss the anatomy of a blog post. Specifically, we're going to have an overview of the entire blog posting area and discuss the main features of a post. Start by going to your dashboard. From your dashboard, go to Posts, Add New. And what I'm going to do in this lesson is go through the main elements or sections of the blog posting area. So if we start right up here at the top, this is going to be your post title. And this is the title that's going to show up in search results and also in directories like the WordPress.com freshly pressed directory. See here are different titles to different posts that are featured. And right down here is the main body of your blog post. Here is where you're going to compose your post, embed images, video, and so forth. Now just above the posting area, are a few options. One of them is Add Media, and that is where you're going to embed images and videos, which of course we'll talk about a little bit later. And you can add polls from here, and you can add contact forms. We'll be looking at all of those when we talk about creating blog posts and formatting them. And speaking of formatting, here are all of your formatting options, but you also need to click this Kitchen Sink button to see everything that's available. We're going to be going through all of those in a later lesson. The other thing you're going to see over here are two tabs. One of them says visual, and that's what we're using right now. And this is a uh, sort of what you see is what you get. When you format your the body of your post in here, you'll be able to see it as it's going to appear. The text version is going to look a little bit different. It's going to be just pure text, and it's great for getting bugs out or pasting stuff from Word documents and so forth. Again, we'll be talking about that in a later lesson. So let's keep scrolling down the page here. The related content area will start displaying related content to the content within your own post using the Zemantis service. Recall in a previous lesson we talked about how to turn that on or activate it in your settings. And that's something else that we'll explore a little bit more later. So this area right here, we can turn the Zemanta related content off from here. We can also copy a post or use an existing post as a template. You can also request feedback. And what this means is that you can send a draft of the post to any number of people by entering their email addresses in here and asking them to comment on the post before you publish it. And then from a likes and shares area, you can turn off likes or sharing buttons. And remember in a previous lesson, we talked about sharing buttons, how you can set those in the settings area. And the likes are when other people on WordPress.com decide to like your site, you can have those show up or not show up in any individual post. Now let's go over here to this second column and start on the bottom. The featured image is the image that will follow this blog post around within directories and other places where the post is featured. Let's go back over to the freshly pressed area. You see these images are the featured images for these individual blog posts. That's why they are showing up there. Now if there is not a featured image, sometimes it will just show an image of the blog. And we're going to be talking about creating optimized blog posts a little bit later on, so we'll be demonstrating that. Now this area right here allows you to choose a specific format for your posts. They're called post formats. Now a post format is something that is specific to themes. Remember before we talked about how some themes have their own customization options? Some themes have post formats, some themes do not. Some themes only have certain post formats. And this is the default theme 2013 for WordPress. So it actually has all of the post formats available for it. What a post format is, is it's a way to format a post very specifically to the content of the post. For instance, an image format is going to draw special attention to the image in the post, the image that you embed in a post. A video format is going to do the same thing for if you embed a video in the post. So let's scroll up here a little bit because I want to talk about categories and tags at the same time. Many people get very confused about the difference between categories and tags. The way I like to define them is a category is a way for you to organize your blog posts in a very broad way. A tag, on the other hand, is something that somebody would enter into like a search engine or a blog search engine to actually try and find your post. 
Now I'm going to be talking about these when we talk about creating optimized blog posts a little bit later on. Okay, so let's move on up here to the next section, which is a published section. Now you may have noticed that over here on the left hand side were a couple things like permalink that I skipped over. And the reason I did that is because some options aren't going to show up until you actually save your post as a draft. Now you have several options over here in the publish section. One is to preview your post. If we click on that, we can have a good look at what our post is going to look like, which of course is pretty boring at this point. But when we start doing things like formatting and optimizing our blog posts, they're going to be looking a lot better. Now the other thing you can do is save your draft. I'll be doing that in just a moment. You can also make your blog public or private or even password protected. Now one of the things that I love about WordPress is that I can post date my blog posts. If I get in a writing mood, I can write a whole bunch of posts and I can post date them for later dates. Now the publicize option, let's pop that open. Remember that earlier in the class we talked about, we went to settings and sharing and within that you could connect your Facebook, Twitter, LinkedIn or whatever accounts with your WordPress account. This is where you're going to be able to control which posts show up on each individual account that you have connected to your WordPress.com account. Now we're going to be talking about those later on in the course as well. So once we're completely finished, we can publish our blog post by clicking this. But like I said, I wanted to go back to the save draft area. When we click on save draft, one of the things that is going to show up is the ability to edit what's called the permalink of your blog. Permalink is short for permanent link. This is the direct URL or the permanent link to your blog post. Now you can edit this permanent link and this sometimes is a good idea especially if your post title is very long otherwise your direct URL gets rather cumbersome. Now the other thing that you can get from here is called a short link. When you click on that you're going to get a very short wp.me link that's really easy for you to share on other social media accounts or within other websites and so forth. To summarize this lesson, the title is used to represent your posts in search engines and directories. The main body area is where you compose your posts. There are many formatting options and it has a visual and a text view. The related content and writing helper areas help you find articles relevant to your content and send drafts of your posts to others. Post formats are used to display specific content like images, video, or quotes in unique ways. Categories are broad ways to organize your posts, while tags are specific to an individual post. WordPress allows you to publish your post later if you wish, and a permalink is the permanent link to your post and can be changed.